Hi guys, how you doing? Today we are going to talk about making the Nikos Wings videos. Many of you ask me the questions about how do I film, what do I use in order to film the video, what kind of cameras, what kind of audio, how do I record the cockpit audio, how do I edit, and all sorts of things, right? So today's episode is all about that. Stay tuned. First, we will talk about the gear that I use in order to actually record the videos in the cockpit. And we'll start with the cameras. So I use GoPro cameras, and the reason why I use GoPro cameras is because there's always an evolution in the camera technology, and they're always reverse compatible, meaning that they operate pretty much the same way as the prior version. So that makes it very, very easy whether you use a four, five, six, or seven in the cockpit to actually uh, operate in the exact same way. With me, it's just a single button that I press on the top and the shutter, and that's actually what starts. Another important part of filming in the cockpit, since typically those videos are very, very long, are to actually have batteries, right? Because you will run out of battery. So I always carry extra batteries, fully charged at all times. So how about we go to the airplane and put everything to use and see how it all works, how I mount everything and how we make it all work. Let's actually talk about what what goes where. So first of all, this one goes on the side, either uh, right there on the front, right side, or next to me, basically just like if you were a passenger. This one is uh, the mount that goes right here and actually sees the front view towards me. This one is the mount, GoPro mount, that actually goes forward and views towards the front. This mount, no good. This is a Joby product, I don't recommend it. It does not hold the suction when it's cold outside. So, garbage. These are great, they have fantastic suction, they hold real good, great mounts. I like this, the fact that I can also uh, swivel it a little bit, it's a little noisy, but it works. And this is pretty good, and especially if you use it with the swivel uh, uh, base of the camera, it works fantastically well. But we cannot forget the filters. The cameras need filters, especially for the prop. This one, it's a half filter, as you can see. This one goes on this camera on the side. And this one, which is a ND8, full ND8 filter, goes on the front-facing camera. Many of you ask me the same question, right? How do I record the audio? The old iPhone. I use this cable, which actually, what it does, it this side attaches to the headphone side of things yep. and this one goes into the iPhone and this side goes into my headset. So basically whatever I hear is what gets recorded. For the audio recording of the iPhone I use an app called Voice Record uh, for lack of a better name and it allows me to actually record the cockpit audio and I can control the gain and all those things. So it's actually pretty good. I like it. But more importantly since I'm a Mac user I can send airdrop the files that I record directly to my Mac for production, which we're gonna see right next when we get back to the office. The way I filmed the 360 views that you've seen that are so uh, amazing on the mount and also the 360 virtual reality videos that uh, you've seen here, I use this GoPro Fusion camera which was a gift by Cirrus, thank you guys. And I mounted on this Flightflix uh, surface mount, which is pretty amazing, uh, and it, it works phenomenally well. This thing is solid, let me tell you. And as you can see, this is very, very cool stuff. Well, there you have it, guys. That's the way I do it. That is the way I record those videos, and that's how it works in the airplane. Now, let's go back to the office and check out how the editing works but I think I should go flying first.
flying was amazing, let me tell you. Perfect day to fly. It's time to actually bring everything and start editing. First is organizing your files from your camera. So I have a master folder on my computer called Flights. In there I have folders for each project that I'm going to be working on. So I do have, for example, the Spring Break 2019, uh, different subfolders with the different assets from the cameras, like a 4K, the 360, the audio files, Cam 1, Cam 2, Cam 3, drone shots and iPhone and that's basically how everything gets organized. Now I use Final Cut Pro for Mac but there's tons of different types of software out there that you can use for editing whether you're on a Mac or a PC. Now in terms of the editing part there's a lot of different steps that go into that. If you're using single camera, if you're using a separate audio channel for the audio recording like I do with that iPhone or if you're using multiple cameras there's different methodology on how to do that. If you use multiple cameras, then you need to create a multi-cam video first. This way you can be able to select during the edit on which camera you will be showing at the end once everything is done and, and that's when your story is made and your video is ready. That is when we need to go into music. All right, music. You think I can make that music that I have on my videos? That's Epidemic Sound. Epidemic Sound is a site that I use where you can download basically any kind of music you want. Uh, they have amazing artists and great production up there. So let's see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this full mix and also I'm going to download the stems. The stems are different parts of the song, whether you want to use the instruments or the vocals only or the drums or the bass, basically breaks down the song into its components so this way you can use different parts depending on the different phase of your video and whether you want to do that or not. Hey guys, what's up? Alright, let's talk about voiceovers. I use a microphone and a nice little microphone stand here. That's how I record voiceovers. And in order to record good voiceovers, you need some kind of good device that will do that for you and bring it into your computer. And the way I do it, I use a Focusrite Scarlett, uh, which is a phenomenal device. So whenever I'm ready to record my voiceovers, that's what I do. And there's a feature here on the Final Cut Pro that says record voiceover. And all I have to do is just get that started and start and there he goes hello 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 welcome to youtube to nico's wings what's up hello hello, hello. welcome the weather is uh terrible in the middle what's up there's all kinds of that is how it's done guys that's how i do it and i hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video of course if you did hit that like and subscribe button that's what i'm looking for and of course send me all your comments concerns and questions thanks so much for watching stay tuned for another video by nico's wings take care but stay tuned